Hello and welcome back to the jungle of concrete. <laughs> the tarmac gone out of control. Yes, that is this. <laughs> I mean, this was, well, it is the execution of the plan. However, it has, might have been slightly been overdone by me as I didn't really intend it to go this big. Really, I did not. No, what I had in mind was to have the circus show and then have three go karts go around it and then get back. Not go around it and, well, just weed and overgrow everything in uh, in great time, uh, but it has happened and we're not gonna change a thing. Besides, it does kinda look cool with just, you know, go-karts going everywhere. You don't know which belongs to which track and where it is and yeah, I mean, that's pretty cool. Uh, <laughs> It is slightly overdone though, but um, that doesn't matter much. The guests sure do seem to like it. I mean, we have 1143 guests in the park and that is with a rather aggressive pricing strategy. I mean, we're charging as much as we can for most of the rides and we're getting away with it. So in that regard, the guest count's quite high. I don't mind if you only have 700 guests in the park as long as they all leave broke. I mean, I'm perfectly fine, you know. So, yeah, in that regards, we're doing good. Now, the thing is, we kind of built this <laughs> with the intention of filling up the empty gap over here. That has been more than accomplished. I feel that right now, though, what we need to do is build another coaster. Now, not over here. Also, not over here. I want to focus development a little bit more into this area. Specifically, this rock is the one that I'm looking at. So, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to expand our area, you know, our, our path, our infrastructure, all the way up till here. That's going to be quite some path. Before we do that, let's do a quick check whether or not any of the <laughs> existing path uh, needs some maintenance when it comes to uh, keeping the interior in good shape. Oh, excuse me there. I had a sudden yawn. Um... The thing is that I have not spotted any vandalism whatsoever. Hey. Oh, this is broken down. It still does have some popularity. Not much, but it is uh, having some popularity. So it seems to me that... Wow. This ride is just... I don't know what it is, but it's getting more and more popular. <laughs> the older it gets. That's quite you know, to the contrary of uh, most other rides, at least how they develop their popularity. Wow, look at this. Look at how cool this is. If you don't see the tracks, you can just see like a complete wild mess of go-karts everywhere. That's yeah, quite cool. I like that. Now, it does seem to me that the well, this now circus show doesn't need its pricing adjusted, now does it? No. <laughs> uh, it might soon need it adjusted, though, as that uh, popularity is already very, very low, but for now, it's fine. So, then, having established that everything is hunky dory, we need to um, expand the path. So, we'll start out with that. Uh, let's see. And yeah, then over to this direction. And we'll go a little bit closer to the rock, like that. And then, now, I mean, the question is as well, where do I want to have the branch go off? I think over here wouldn't be such a bad idea. So, we'll branch it all the way up to here. And then we might as well go over here straight away. Now this is a long stretch of path. I'm well aware of that. And, um, well, we, we might have overdone it a little bit. 
I don't know what it is, you know. I'm prone to overdoing things quite a lot, it seems. Uh, first with the go-karts, and now with the path. <laughs> I don't know what it is. It seems that roads just, uh, you know, I can't control myself <laughs> when I'm dealing with tarmac. Oh, man. I've always known it. I'm an addict. <laughs> right. Uh, oh, crap. Oh, my good lord. Oh. Now that is bad. I mean, the sand snakes have broken down. Yeah, look at that. Shifting Dune has broken down. And that has happened. Like, I mean, the days go by quite quickly. And look at, look at this, by the way, man. Look at the messages of everything breaking down. Bloom of Hope, 8th of July. Bloom of Hope, 20th of July. Look at this, man. I mean, July seems to be, like, just a bad luck charm. Wow. What's happening? Uh, we have... Nah, it seems, I mean, June, you know, May, it's not really... And then there is, like, July, and just everything just shits itself, basically. <laughs> wow, but... Just to, well, what I wanted to see, yeah. See, sometimes you just have the bad luck of having a breakdown. Yeah, look, see, we have a safety mechanic. Sometimes you just have the bad luck of having a breakdown right when the terrain enters and the mechanic not being there quick enough. I don't think there is anything that we could have done to prevent this from happening. It's a shame it has happened, but, I mean, that's just the way it is, really, you know? I don't think, I, we have all the measures in place, except the most radical one, which is uh, only using one train, as we did in the, uh, you know, in the previous park, <laughs> the Paradise Park. Really, though, it's a shame that this happened. Look at that, I mean, he's even optimally caught in here. Yeah, sometimes you just have bad luck with this, uh, these kind of things. Hopefully it won't happen again. It's not really a biggie, though. Now, uh, what we were doing was uh, placing uh, trash cans and all that. <laughs> and then we might as well, uh, you know, quickly assign the staff to this area. And, uh, well, place some facilities here and there. Hmm? I mean, this is quite a big open stretch of... Uh, <laughs> path that we now have added that need to be kept clean <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and facilitated with bathrooms and all that yeah this is indeed quite a big stretch now another thing that i want to do uh, take a look at in the moment is like what our eggheads have been up to because we've been building quite a few things uh, recently and i haven't uh, got a clue what our eggheads have cooked up for us uh, recently, so <laughs> we'll check that in a moment. First, though, we are going to see to it that this new section has all the facilities that one could need. So that means plenty of bathrooms, plenty of drink stalls, and, you know, maybe we should also uh, start thinking about perhaps uh, researching some souvenir stuff and such. I don't think we need to do that right now, though, but it might be a thing to do for the future. There, we'll open you up. Now, right now, we only have toilets. <laughs> I mean, that's nice. <laughs> But, uh, I mean, it's like, you know, a two thing. You can drop stuff and you can drink over there. However, I think the latter is not really... No, no, no. I wouldn't recommend it. So, I think we will need more than one drink stall over here. So, we'll place another one there. Especially seeing how we are in the desert over here, of course. You know, drinks are very, very crucial. We will get one of you, the donut shop, uh, we'll get a hot dog hut, we'll place that right over here. Oh, and we got a steel roller coaster apparently. Yeah, it is about time that we start checking in on the eggheads. They've been up to so many things, so many shenanigans, and I haven't got the slightest clue uh, what we've gotten lately. 
so we'll check that out in just a moment. There. Right, so this is facilitated. Now it is time to check the eggheads. Uh, let's see. Eggheads. You just made me a steel roller coaster. You're still researching gentle rides and uh, roller coasters. And it seems <laughs> that all that we've been getting lately are roller coasters. We have the Virginia reel. We have this one now. We have what? What's the inverted wild? What? <laughs> Another wild mouse coaster. I don't know, I might have seen this one actually, but I don't think we've ever built this. Oh, nice, we are gonna build this though. I think we have a very nice rock for it right over here. I think that this has another wild mouse coaster written all over it. Right, um, then we have a mine train coaster, very nice, gonna build it. We just got this, uh, this we have already. This is meh. This is good. Uh, we could definitely use one of these. I don't think we're going to build this, as this is just the hanging version of this one. It's equally as bad, basically. So, and then we have this, and this, and this. Uh, what? An air-powered vertical coaster? Oh my good lord! <gasps> Look at the freaking price. Six! thousand seven hundred and fifty <laughs> oh man oh look at the special track elements by the way all we can do really is vertical tracks and banked curves so i guess that what this is like one of those coasters it just goes up and down and up and down and up and down and up and down <laughs> doot do do it do do it do 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 oh man <laughs> that really reminds me of that song now um this is cool this is not cool uh, this is also we could build this as well isn't it? now i just had a comment or what well, just had but i read a comment about me building you know some coasters that i usually don't often build and I wouldn't mind doing that, you know, because well, it's a variety and I like that, you know, it's sort of a challenge, but really, the thing is with these rocks, I just want to build awesome coasters and stuff like this, you know, which isn't that great anyway, <laughs> it totally doesn't fit a park like this, so if we can, we will, I might try my hands at this one, seeing how this park is just so big and flat and, you know, just build it like alongside the park border over here in the back end, and see if I, if I can actually make this any decent at all, but... Other than that, you know, if the occasion's there, we might build um, one of those coasters that I usually don't. Except for this. <laughs> this we will not build. Not ever anymore. <laughs> Consider this to be not there, you know. <laughs> we have all these coasters minus one. <laughs> So, but I'm open, you know, I'm open to that kind of stuff. That's also um, you know, the reason why I've built this coaster. We didn't need to build this over here. But I felt like, you know, I don't really build it that often. So I might as well, you know, try my hands at it. See if I can make something decent. And to be honest, for this coaster, a 6.6, .6, you know, it's not bad. Considering that it's so easy to get this ultra intense i think that we did a fairly good job with this stand-up steel one so yeah you know the suggestion has been noted and um another suggestion whilst we're talking about uh suggestions and all that uh has been to build a coaster with an 11 in the excitement rating we are going to do that. It might not be in this park. It would, might actually be in this park, but I don't promise it will be. But Loopy Landscapes is not finished before I have made a coaster with an 11 excitement rating. So, there, now, challenges are on, you know. <laughs> We're setting the bar high for ourselves. Um, now <laughs> it is time that we build some stuff over here. I think, because we have a lot of coasters, we also have a lot of these, right? Well, actually, not that many. <laughs> we could build a scrambler eggs, like, uh, over here. And then, perhaps, a tower, like, over here. I mean, that wouldn't be such a bad thing. Then, perhaps, also, like, a uh, a ship or something over here. 
I mean, that could work. And then we're pretty much through all the thrill rides that we have, with this side of the rock still to fill up. However, we should also get gentle rides coming soon. So, yeah, we're gonna slam down quite a few uh, thrill rides here. Just to have something in this area. Now, I guess over here, well, that would work. Uh, we'll build it like no this yeah this is how we're gonna build it now i was thinking over here you know with the future in mind with like all right i don't want entrances too close towards the rock because they're pretty high so hey yes i like that Good, and the good thing is that we now have the exit hooked up to the main path. It's usually uh, the best setup for uh, in a, a ride to have it, the exit hooked up to the main path. There. Done. Scrambler exit. <laughs> Checked off the list, you know. Next. <laughs> We're really slamming them down here, but I don't want, you know, big empty gaps. I mean, I don't mind a big, large, empty open park, but the stuff that's developed between air quotes oh, that should look good and filled up well look good it at least should have content stuff to do um how about we call this uh the <laughs> yeah uh, the nine pointed star <laughs> i mean instead of the seven pointed star you know <laughs> yeah <laughs> the nine pointed star it does have nine points after all, you know, three times three. Oh yes, clever me. <laughs> um, uh, this is only for the tent, so that's good. We can go with uh, something like this. No, we cannot. But if we make it like this and then perhaps change it to something like this. Yeah. <laughs> Oh man, snake charm music, man, it's catching me. Right, then we will have this be white with a... Mm. Mm. <laughs> I don't know, no. Uh, perhaps we can have this. Mm. Not a big fan. That looks kind of okay. It has a light touch to it, you know, and... Well, it, it makes it look like uh, <laughs> holy religious light colors. I don't know, <laughs> but I don't think that even exists. Also, with the park being this big and everything just shitting itself, you know, in July, we will get ourselves an extra mechanic. Where? Oh, it's over there. Balls. Uh, what I need to do really is. I can't see it in this view. I can't s Oh, there it is. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the view is sometimes really playing tricks on me, you know, with like where I need to, uh, you know, where, where my point of focus of the camera was before I rotated the view. Now, next ride that we're gonna build will be the tower, which we are going to build right over here. Yes. We will make it quite high, as the tower is going to be quite a rough one. 40. Yeah, 40 is good. 40 is quite high and will make it quite intense. Let's see how far we can get with 96. Will that... Oh, <laughs> oh, whoopsie. <laughs> uh, yeah, we will put this over here. <laughs> now test it, please. Will it launch off? No, not by a mile. We could also have downward launch mode, but... I think that's, you know, you have that with the other tower, the uh, the third tower, so to say. And um, we don't need uh, another launching, uh, you know, that launching method. That's, in my eyes, that's reserved for that ride only. So, now, we, we will be making, come on, yes, good game. Uh, we will be making the queue quite specific. Uh, um, 
like this. Yeah, I don't think we need it much longer actually because that is bad for a peat guest. We're gonna charge five bucks over here. Oh, and by the way, look at our guest count. We just had a crash, by the way, you know, that's like a month ago and already <laughs> the guests are just pouring in this park, you know. They don't mind that something has crashed, apparently, because <laughs> they're flocking to this park like crazy. Now, we will call this, um, yeah, how about <laughs> we call this <laughs> the Tin Bank. <laughs> oh, instead of the iron bank, which is a really, you know, strong and harsh sound to it. <laughs> this sounds like a pussy bank. <laughs> Who loans money to never get it back, you know? <laughs> oh, yeah, all right. <laughs> That's what we're gonna go with. Uh, let's go. Yeah. <laughs> I thought maybe, you know, in this expansion, maybe there's something new. <laughs> oh, that was uh, in vain hope. Oh, that grey, I do not like. We'll go with the black, we'll go with the golden inside, and then a greyish outside. Yeah, I guess. And then we could go with the bright yellow and the golden trim. That looks not bad at all, actually. And it fits the desert theme, you know, with the tent style also quite well. The tin bank might actually be a quite a good money maker for us. Now I said we could do a ship over here, but mm, <laughs> I don't know. I've uh, been thinking about that. Um, <laughs> maybe we could place that a little bit more further around the rock over there. <laughs> I mean, we don't have that many thrill rides as is, so... What? It's a miracle! We get a gentle ride! Wow! It can still happen! Who would have guessed after all these roller coasters? <laughs> oh, Alright, now, the coaster, huh? This rock, if I were to typify this, it is a low and flat, wide, well, not really big rock, but it's low, flat, and small. There aren't that many coasters that would fit that rock, other than this. I think the Virginia Reel is the one coaster that we want over here and I also think that we should build it with the station underground uh, under this plateau over here. So the station would be somewhere over here. We would have the queue hook up to uh, this place or perhaps over here. I don't know really. I mean, if we don't have the queue hookup over here, then there's no real point to this whole area. We could build a hedge maze. Well, <laughs> I guess I just given the answer to what we should do with the plateau then. <laughs> right, <laughs> good. So, uh, we are going to build this differently. <laughs> I just heard. <laughs> uh, we are going to go like this. Hey, where's the music? Can I get music over here? No. That's a shame, really. Hey, surprise! <laughs> we got a hedge maze. <laughs> or mage, I mean maze. <laughs> what a surprise, I didn't know. <laughs> totally unexpected. Now we can have a flat lift. Not actually, yeah, all right. Well, that's not such a bad thing to have, really. Oh, okay. It seems we need to adjust the rock. We will do so. Now we are going to ut uh, utilize the uh, height of the rock. So we will go up. Not much <laughs> over there at least. And then we'll go up some more. And then we will just do with this as it's a rocky mountain anyway. The Rocky Mountains, ooh. <laughs> uh, let's see. I need to lower this and then get up there. And then, I mean, right now things will start to become tight when it comes to space because we're starting to go towards the edge of where we can go. But, look at this, look at this, yes. And then, I, I don't know how 
Well, I guess that's the answer. I was about to say, I don't know how high this coast can go, but I guess we just got an answer there. <laughs> uh, now, right now, currently, we're not really going that fast. Also, I don't know about the height on this coaster, but yeah, we are above any terrain that currently. So there, we should not even, uh, well, have any hopes for going above anywhere. Because currently... Wait, what? <laughs> it's raining in the desert? <laughs> wow! <laughs> Enjoy it while it lasts! <laughs> uh, actually, maybe I should... Uh, let's see... I'll extend this by one. Then we'll drop down by two, because... Yeah, in fact, we'll drop down by three... Now, we're currently at height 21, and this is height 23, so that would be the only place where we can go into the underground. I don't think that that's interesting yet, so we're actually still looking at a situation where the underground is not interesting for us. Oh. We got complaints about the disgusting state of the paths. That's not good, but it's not something that I can address right now. So, I will take a look at that after this coaster is finished. Oh, and then we just hit our own track there. That's alright, we'll go down over here. Uh, to height 90. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, so this is now possible. We can now... Right, so we we can now go over the regular ground. And this should be now accessible. Look at this. Yes. Finally, we can go somewhere in the underground without having to... Ooh. Nice. All right. I guess we'll heighten this up by one then. And then, I like this. Oh, <laughs> look at this. Nice. It's starting to... Oh, whoa. <laughs> get a uh, wild mouse coaster-esque, uh, <laughs> you know, <laughs> practices over here. <laughs> uh, we'll go down some more. I know we're, like, outside of the rock's boundary right now, but I don't mind that so much. Ooh, maybe I should mind that somewhat more, though. I mean, we're in the underground right now, but not in a good way. You know what, I should go down one other level over here, I feel. So we're right now we're at height... Come on, game. Right now we're at height 16. And... If I'm not mistaken, then right now, I don't really know. Oh, yeah, right. There we are. We're resurfacing right now. So, right now, this is now interesting because now we can start going into the underground more and more. And it's not really like, uh, you know, it's affecting the coaster all that much. We can basically go anywhere we want right now. If I heighten that up by one, it's still complaining. Right. Now, we will have a drop down over here. Oh, <laughs> we will not have a drop down over there. Quite apparently. Uh, it might be our own track, actually, that's in the way. That's annoying. <laughs> Hey, track, who built you there? Oh, wait, <laughs> never mind that question. <laughs> right, I believe that if we go down over here, though, and then the issue should be less and less. So, where do we... Come... Where is this? That we need to raise or lower the land. Fine, if that... I don't know what I just did over there, but... I sure as hell didn't want to do it. Right. Now the thing is, over here, the best va Ooh, we got an award, ladies and gentlemen. Nice. 
Right, so the thing is that currently we're like everywhere except for this side of the cliff, basically. I want to change that a little bit, you know, a little bit. So, here we go. Okay, here we don't go. <laughs> uh, and then perhaps over there. And then we could go like this. And then down to height 10. And we'll just go straight. Oh. We won't just go straight, but we'll make a zigzag and then something like this. Because we we don't haven't really done any of all this, you know? So. Oh, and then it's gonna start complaining about something being in the way, as always. Because <laughs> that's what the coaster does, basically. It's always complaining about something being in the way. This time there it might have a point, uh, actually. If we go down by two. Oh man, <laughs> we'll have speed, you know, that will break necks <laughs> like twigs on a dead tree, <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> oh yeah, the speed is gonna be bonkers in this one. Oh, we're actually on ground level right now. Now that's also pretty cool. Alright. Uh, let's see. Yes. And then... I think we should go like this. Now we're at station height level. And then... Simple but effective. We'll go back like this. With two white... Oh. This, ladies and gentlemen, is a coaster. I get... Oh. No, 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 no. This is a coaster like there is no other. We pretty much covered up the rock, you know. It's wild. It's... Oh, yeah. <laughs> it is how I like it. Now, we'll quickly hook this up. You guys can watch the test ride for me. I have to do some uh, inspection of... Uh, oh. Balls. No. Hold on a second. We're not gonna have this. We'll have it like that. Now, I know that the gas will be trapped there, so we'll, we will have to remedy that quickly. Come on, game. Let me... Yes. There. And then... Yeah, just like that. Perfect. Right. Now... So the game was complaining about disgusting state of the paths, huh? At least that's what I uh, saw in the message. We are going to need to go on a hunt. Oh my, whoa, 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 whoa. Now that is bad. Is it the entrance bit? No, it's not. It's also not over there. It cannot be over here. Uh, it might be the entrance bit, really. Is that covered? Yeah, it is covered. I don't know by which handy do it, though, but you are going to clean this one up right there, right now. I mean, they, they were complaining about disgusting state of the paths, but I failed to see where exactly that is, then. Maybe they meant the vandalism was out of control and they reported the wrong thing. I don't know. <laughs> Could that be the case? <laughs> I highly doubt it, really, but... Yeah, and everything else over here looks rather clean, too. The vandalism, though, does, well, you know, ring a bell in my head, like... Yeah, you might want to hire a few more guards. Right. Now, we'll get this back up. So, the testing is done. Please don't be too extreme. No, it is not, and it has a 7 in the ratings. Mind you, this is completely without any scenery added. Oh, and uh, the terraforming thing I accidentally did. Here it is. <laughs> yeah, that was a you know a slight misclick when it wasn't supposed to happen. So a seven in the ratings. We will charge uh, six bucks fifty for this. 
Do we really need the money? No, of course we don't. But that doesn't matter. <laughs> I want more for more and expensive builds. Right, we need a handy dude for this exit in specific. Because this is going to be a nasty one. Then we are going to need a fix mechanic for this uh, coaster. Yes, oh no, get yourself back there. I saw you walking off the path. You're not supposed to do that stuff. Right. So, nobody's going on this coaster because they do not have... Uh, there they are. <laughs> I was about to say, nobody's going on it because they do not have the money. <laughs> What's this? Also, we will call this... Uh, the water garden. No, 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 we will not call it the water garden. Why don't we call this... <laughs> I know how we could call it. We could call any coaster like this. <laughs> Gregor Klugin. <laughs> the mountain. <laughs> yeah, oh, definitely, definitely. We're gonna call this Gregor Klugin. <laughs> Just because... Oh, man. Well, I should have called the coaster that we're gonna build over here. But, but still. <laughs> it doesn't matter. <laughs> Small detail. Sir Gregor Klugin, the mountain, who is now poisoned. Ooh, poison. Poison. We could... Ooh. Poison, huh? Poison. And then perhaps some grey? Ooh. Hmm. I don't know about this green though. This green might fit better. Certainly. And then perhaps a yellow line, you know, because of the vipers and whatnot. Besides, Oberyn was also called the viper, so... Yes. By the way, why is it with you? Can you not find it or something? Oh, yeah, you're, you're totally lost. Troubling Oasis, yeah, this is what we get with the, the path layout that we have. Yeah, you, you won't find it. Come on, we need, like, mechanics you know, over there. We might want to start assigning mechanics to certain areas if this starts to happen more and more, you know? Really might want to do that. Ah, well, we'll have to see. For now, though, look at this. We have Sir Gregor Klugin as the next thing uh, of our park. We have a guest count that is just going up and up like crazy. Also, we have a few guests leaving. You are not happy. You have... Well, I mean, what are your thoughts? Why? I want to go home. I want to go on something more thrilling. I want to go on something more thrilling. I'm not going on shifting dune. It isn't safe. Right, so you had like three rides and then bam, didn't do anything. Time spent in the park, six minutes. Same for you probably, can't afford. Want to go on something more thrilling. Oh, but you, uh, yeah, yeah, you did spend all your money. I'm just checking over here to see whether or not the guests are broke. <laughs> they pretty much are when they leave the park. Same for you, yeah, look at that, see? So most of the guests that leave the park have no money or they just had an unlucky streak of what they encountered. I think though that Razor Rocks Park, despite its rather, I don't know about this, you know, I really don't know about this, it kind of looks cool and it totally doesn't. It makes the park not look so great. There are, however, quite a few really cool rides in it, and we're only gonna add more and more to that. But which, when, how and why is a thing we're gonna find out next time when we play more Rollercoaster Tycoon.